Okey, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi syrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul 'uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi syrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul 'uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi syrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul 'uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi zidni 'ilman wa rizqni fahman. Oh Allah, please increase our knowledge and grant us understanding. Amin insya-Allah. So, let me begin with Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh So, here we are um, In Mudarisa Nak Share Episode 4 Okay, so before I proceed um, Let me introduce myself I'm Mudarisa Lisa Founder and Director of Lito Itias So, yeah, today um, On Episode 4 I'll be sharing Short tips Okay, I'll be sharing Um short tips and important tips okay for those parents um who have the intention of putting their child into madrasa okay yes we are still at it okay we are still at um you know talking about the madrasa preparatory journey okay so alhamdulillah today uh this morning uh just started our day one camp okay with the anur uh, kindergarten students anur mosque kindergarten students and alhamdulillah it went well so day one just now we covered uh, mostly on the bonding activities okay to get them to know more better um, to create that rapport okay between the students and the teachers it is very crucial um, to have that for a start all right um, you know we built the trust we built the confidence level okay um, assuring them that we are we are together with them okay in doing this since arabic is a foreign language okay arabic is something that they are not familiar with they are not um, usually exposed to okay so we have to um you know tackle it with fun techniques fun approach all right um bersesuaian dengan kebolehan uh, budak tu okay so alhamdulillah um you know we do bonding activities with them and then we also um, do the pre-test assessment okay meaning that before we actually go deeper before we go into the drilling we actually do some pre-test uh, on the kids okay for me to actually know the level the standard uh, budak tu dekat mana whether you know um, which area that he or she may need help more okay so alhamdulillah tomorrow we'll be meeting them again uh, for day two all right and followed by day three with the parents okay so yeah that's about our today's event okay today in the mudarisa not share episode 4 i'll be talking about one of the important component that a parent should know okay should pay attention to sebelum kita nak go into deeper um you know preparing the child okay no um you know what kind of questions what kind of formats okay the first thing I should really ask you is about setting niat. Okay, today our topic in Mudarisa Nak Share episode 4 will be about setting niat. Okay, so setiap manusia, okay, bila kita melakukan sesuatu, we have something in mind. Okay, terdetik dalam hati kita, apa kita nak buat, kerana apa. Okay, and sama juga bila kita solat, okay, kita niat. Alright, kita uh, niat solat zuhur, solat subuh. ABC. Okay, so same goes Bila kita nak buat sesuatu Bila kita nak letak anak kita dalam madrasah okay, when, when we want to put our child in madrasah We must have our niat Okay, so this will be some of the tips um, You know Yang I nak share dengan you Okay So first, as a parent Okay, dalam setting niat ni Pertama, you nak kena Of course, kena lillahi ta'ala Okay, kerana Allah Okay Kerana you nak um, guide keluarga you um, menjadi keluarga yang sakina, mawaddah, rahmah. Okay, you nak jadikan institusi keluarga you tu macam mana. So, you must have that niat. Okay, and also you have to jadikan niat untuk you gain knowledge as a parent. Okay, sebagai ibu bapa, this will be a learning journey for you. Okay, this will be something new for you. So, niat you untuk you gain knowledge along the way. Okay, and... Second is for you to guide, okay, and help your child to shape their future path, okay. Seperti mana yang kita tahu anak ni ibarat kain putih, ibu bapa yang mencorakkan, okay. Jadi, it is a process for you to actually guide 
and bantu anak you to help dia punya future path. Okay? And the third one, you must set the niat that this is part of your efforts. Okay, maknanya effort tu ada dalam berbagai-bagai bentuk. Okay, tapi ini adalah salah satu effort you untuk jadikan keluarga you macam mana. Okay, menjadikan anak you um, future generation yang macam mana. Okay, this is part of your effort. Alright. And also, number four, you must set the niat that in whatever you do, you are trying your best. Okay, you are trying your best. Dan um, number lima, this is a process, okay, for you to feed him or her, okay, with whatever that he or she is able to receive and manage. Okay, this is what I really want to talk about, okay. Um, sometimes along the way, ada budak, they are um, able to receive, um, you know, new knowledge, uh, you know, basically Arabic, Arabic language, okay. They are able to enjoy the lesson, they are able to understand. But we cannot deny that some kids, they just, um, you know, couldn't accept. Uh, okay, maksudnya, um, you know, they are not um, comfortable, okay, with uh, accepting the knowledge, okay, ataupun mungkin mereka... Uh, kurang mahi dalam sesuatu bidang tu, okay? So kita kena ingat as a parent, as an adult, okay, apa yang anak kita mampu terima, okay? Maksudnya kita jangan terlalu pressure, okay, the kids, alright? We must have um, you know, a step by step planning, okay, to make he or she fell in love with the language, with the Arabic language, okay? And also we must tell ourselves Allah is a Best of all planners. Okay, pada mulanya kita dah letakkan Allah sebagai tujuan utama kita. Okay, sebagai kenapa kita buat benda ni kerana Allah Ta'ala. Okay, but kita also must tell ourselves dalam this process, okay, dia akan ada banyak um, pelbagai results. Dan pelbagai results tu akan menentukan emosi kita. Akan menentukan whether, you know, are we going to be happy with the results? Are we going to be satisfied with the results? Or we are going to be... You know, very sad with the rejections that we are going to receive one day. Okay, nak uzulah hinzalik. So, we must tell ourselves that Allah is the best of all planners. Okay, kita merancang tapi Allah yang menentukan. Okay, and we must also tell ourselves that Allah is the only one who has the power to grant any, any dua. Okay, maknanya, kita usaha untuk mendapatkan sesuatu dan kita tawakal. Bila kita tawakal, kita berdoa pada Allah. Okay, and kita pun kena ingat Uh, we must believe in the power of a mom's dua. Okay, dua seorang ibu tu dia ada hijab. Alright, so during this period, okay, during this uh, preparatory period, mom, um, you know, same goes to that, make a lot of dua. Okay, make a lot of uh, solat taubat, solat hajat. Okay, um, you know, alongside with whatever effort that uh, you are putting in. Okay, and then. Um, At the end of the day, okay, if the result um, is not like what you have planned, okay, it's not like what you have, um, you know, imagined, you must tell yourself that if Allah, um, you know, has a better rezeki for us, He will get us through, okay. We must always tell ourselves that whatever happens is Allah menentukan, okay, Allah decide on this, Allah decides on that, it's a takdir, okay. Jadi, kita kena reba, okay, dengan sesuatu perkara tu. Um, yeah, if let's say the result doesn't turn to be what you, you you've wanted, okay, um, always fikir that, okay, there's always a way, maknanya you can, you can still try, um, you know, applying, um, at a different, different level, okay, maksudnya bila kalau tak dapat masuk primary one, you boleh try lagi, primary two, you boleh try lagi, primary three, okay, insyaAllah, alright, so that's all for Garisa nak share episode 4. Kita share sikit je hari ni. Okay, but insyaAllah, um, we will be doing more sharing. Alright. Um, in the next, next video, these are some of the topics that I'll be sharing with you. Okay. Um, usually, I'll share, um, usually, I'll share dekat dalam my parents' workshop. Okay, but um, we are not going to do any um, uh, workshop dalam masa terdekat ni. Okay, so I'm using this platform for me to reach out as many parents. Okay. Um, in the next episode, we are going to talk about uh, reflection on your child. Okay, how to understand your child's interest better. Alright, the mood, okay, the right mood bila nak belajar. Okay, their behavior towards something. 
Alright, and also their style of learning. Okay, so these are some of the sharings that I'll be, um, you know, sharing lah in the Mudarisa Nak Share series. And then we are going to talk about what you should do, okay, um, where to start uh, planning, okay. So there's this technique that I'm using, it's called HELP, H-E-L-P, okay. Um, it's a, how to say, it's a step-by-step -step guide uh, for parents how what where to start what to do okay and then uh, understanding your options okay so you have the different different options of madrasa so understand your options of madrasa okay and the most common questions that people ask me which madrasa should i apply for my child okay so i'll be talking more about that and also setting basic goals for your family okay meaning that you know in this preparatory journey what what are the goals that you want to achieve okay and then uh, we're be talking about the expenses as well okay we know that um you know it's not easy to 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 apply and it's not easy to be um you know uh planning the budget okay uh so yep we're going to talk about the expenses as well and then we are going to talk uh, about the routine planning okay meaning that um how to set a routine at home to ensure that your child covers all the four subjects to prepare for the MEP. Okay, so this will be shared in um, the next, next uh, Mudarisa Nak Share series. Okay, so stay tuned. Um, segala yang baik tu datangnya daripada Allah. Okay, yang mana tersilap tu datangnya daripada diri, diri, diri saya sendiri. Okay, so I'm trying my best okay, to help as many parents out there by this video. Okay, um, for you to know that you're not alone in this preparatory journey. Okay, and rezeki tu milik semua. Okay, meaning that um, you can have the niat okay to to be putting your child into madrasa even though you're not from madrasa okay even though you are not um familiar with arabic language that's not the excuse that's not the reason for you to not um you know um have the niat to put your child in madrasa okay so i pray all the best for all of you um who wants to try this journey okay so yep uh, with that, I end with Tasbih Fawar in Surah Al-Ansar. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha ila anta. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilaih. Wal asr. Inna insan ila fi khusr. Ila ladhina amanu wa amil salihati. Wa tawasa bil haqi wa tawasa bi sabar. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Walhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Before that, I would like to remind you two more days. Okay, before 12th December. Remember, I told you yesterday. There's a good news. That's going to happen on 12th December. So stay tuned to our Instagram, Little India Center. Turn your notifications on. Okay? Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.